up everybody what the fuck is going on what's really going on motherfuckers what's up everybody how's everybody doing i hope you're doing good in the motherfucking neighborhood bitch you know what i'm saying um i hope you guys are having a blessed saturday porque you know today is time to relax um i love saturdays because mario works so I spent my whole day with I spent my whole day with the kids, just me and them. And then on Sunday, it's family day. Um, that's our day to do what we gotta do. We usually go to the swap meet meet where we meet meet meet. Um, I don't know why we always love to go to the swap meet. It's like everything's in the swap meet. If you want a divorce, you want to get married, you could get married there. If you want a tattoo, you could go there. If you want to get a haircut, you could go there. If you want to get your nails done, you could go there. What else? Um, whatever the fuck you want. Like, they even wash your car at the Swami. They do, like, a detailed motherfucking shit right there. And only it's only 30 bucks. Because if we go over here to, like, the business place, it's, like, $60, $70. And over there's $30. And it's a, the husband and the wife, they do an amazing job. And I, I like going there because I feel like they're doing their little hustle. And we get to get our shit clean and we get to help them, bitch. So anyways, um, I want to tell you guys, Mandy made a little video with Sophia. Sophia made a little video with Mandy um, on their little YouTube, Mandy's YouTube. And um, if you guys can follow them, if you want to watch them, if you want to subscribe to them. Um, it's Lil Tines. Um, yeah, check them out. So they made a video of what's in their backpack. And I was laughing because they have like... The stupidest thing in their backpack. And then Mandy has tried making videos, but she gets like weird. And then Sophia, she's made videos and da 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 da. And you know, Mandy's a little kind of like, you know, proper and stuff. And Sophia's like, eh, 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 like talking and stuff. So they really compliment each other. You know what I'm saying? So check them out. Anyways, bitch. Mm -hmm. I wanted to talk about this. And I made a little video yesterday about this, pero luego este, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. And I'm like, I'll just do it tomorrow because it was kind of late. But anyways, so Gabriel Fernandez, that name will forever be remembered. That shit blew up. I've been, um, the first time I read about him, it was on my Facebook in 2013 when it happened. And I was, you know, checking my Facebook, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I saw his little face. And I'm like, mira que chulada. And I looked at him, and it reminded me of my son, because there's a picture of him where he's like this. Like, his little eyes are looking up, and he's like that. And it's the face that my son makes whenever he's in trouble, but he knows that he could, you know, make a little face. And I'll be like, oh, okay, baby, it's okay. So I was reading it. And I just couldn't believe it said the stepdad was um, hitting the little boy, burning the little boy, shooting the little boy with a BB gun because he thought he was gay. The gay thing in the Hispanic community, in the Mexican community, it's a whole subject. Like, I think a couple of weeks, oh, maybe a month ago, I was here in the um, kitchen and I was cooking and my son comes over here. Sorry guys, my son needed my assistance. Okay, so my son comes in here and you know, he sees me cooking cause I'm always right here. And he's like, mommy, me help you? And I said, for sure. So he stands right here. He gets his little carrots, his little cutting board. I have a little baby cutting board. And he starts cutting it up. And I'm just over here like, oh my God, I'm so proud. But then his grandma passes by. And his grandma gives me the stank eye, you know. And I'm like, here we go again. And she's like, oh, Marito likes to, quiere cocinar? ¿Qué va a ser maricón? Meaning, little Mario is going to cook or he likes to cook. What is he going to be, a faggot? I'm like, lady, please. Like, the biggest fucking chefs in this world are men. Men get down in the kitchen. I don't know what, what it is about the Hispanic community that, not all of us, but some of them, the old school, how they think. The man is in the sits in the table or drinks the beer and expects the woman to cook. If you are a, if you're one of them sons, you know, 
that come from if you're a son in that family you don't do nothing because your sisters would do whatever everything for you you're just the guy that's why the fucking son in some mexican families the sons they don't know how to do shit because all their lives the sisters do everything for them and it's fucked up that's why i my son and he's like oh i want this and he tells mandy to do it and i'm like no get it your damn self because i'm not gonna play that shit here and it's sad how um in the hispanic community even in the black community like being gay it's like you're already mexican you're already black and then you're gay so people give you more shit but anyways that was not enough reason nothing is a reason to do those motherfuckers to do what they did to this little boy that big motherfucker the stepdad six two six two a fat motherfucker ugly motherfucker and he grabbed that little kid and he choked him. You know? Do you know how it feels to get choked? Like, you can't fucking breathe. I can't even imagine the, the brother, the brother of the little boy said that he grabbed him against the wall. Meaning his, his feet were dangling. Like, how can two people be doing the same fucking fucked up shit and not stop for one minute and think, what the fuck are we doing? What the fuck are we doing? When I do some fucked up shit, Mario tells me, what the fuck are you doing? When Mario does some fucked up shit, and I'm right there next to him, I said, what the fuck are you doing? You know, we tell each other what when we're messing up. And then, I know he had a grandma, he had a grandpa, he had a tío, he had tías. <laughs> they tried, but I feel like this Pro Fernandez, she's such like her... She's one of those bossy bitches, you know, for no reason. She's one of those bossy bitches. She thinks she's so fucking hard and she's so fucking like, you know. And the bitch didn't even finish the eighth grade. Who the fuck does not finish the eighth grade? I've heard of people dropping out of high school. I heard of people getting pregnant at 15. But who the fuck doesn't finish eighth grade? Well, like, what kind of stupid are you? And then the bitch, she started drinking alcohol. And doing crystal meth. You know what I'm saying? When you are not even, you're not, you're developing. And you start doing drugs. And you start doing bullshit. Your whole brain gets fucked up. And I know because I've seen it. I've met kids that they're 12 years old. 10 years old. And then they start kicking it, you know. You know, and drinking. And then I see them in a year, two years. And all I see is blank in their eyes. I don't see that little kid, that innocence that I used to know. That's why I always tell my kids. You know, if somebody ever wants you to touch drugs, they don't fucking like you. They want you to fail in life. Because if somebody really likes you, they want to, you know, motivate you to do good. If they trying to hand you like some fucking cocaine, some crystal meth, it's all over. It's all over the motherfucking neighborhood. How many times do I see... Um, people walking by looking like fucking zombies because it's so easy to get the damn drugs and Pearl she did drugs way too early in her life she she's a fucking evil fucking person I know they put um como se dice sentence to death the death penalty for the guy Isauro Isauro but they should have given her the death penalty she's the one that you know she's the mother at the end of the day, yes, there's a father. Yes, there's a tío. Yes, there's a grandparents. But the mother is here to protect our children. Somebody wants to fuck with my son. If, if it was a stepdad, if it was his father, I would go right in there in the middle, just like my mom did. My mom, my dad would beat my ass, you know? He would beat my ass. And my mom would always get in between. Guess who got her ass beat? My mom, my mom took so many beatings for me. And that's why I don't understand how they could be so, mother so evil like Pearl Fernandez. She was there. The fucking blood was all over. You could see that they tried to clean it. How was this little boy just thrown place to place? And then the siblings, the siblings, they didn't even tell, um, they didn't even say the truth from the beginning. Because when you are a victim of um, domestic violence, as a kid, they train you. Your, your dad trains you. When my dad would beat my ass and I would get a little bruise or whatever, and he would say, if they ask you anything in school, 
tell him that you fell off your bike. So that's why when um the little the brother was um saying what happened, he said, "Oh well, he fell off his bike." And I was like, "Bruh, why does why every time some shit happens to us, we have to say that we fall off our bike?" Because that's what I said when um when I was five, I went to foster care for two weeks, and it really fucked me up. Because every time I thought about it, I would get sad. It, it fucked me up, and it was only two weeks. Imagine these kids that go through shit, this this shit, for years. The brother and the sister are never gonna get over this. They're, I mean, they might be happy at times, but they're never gonna be like fully get over it because this is their brother, and they saw all the fuckery that they did. ¿Qué estás haciendo, papá? You need to poop. Okay, hold on. I went to foster care for two weeks, right? So, it was, I think, the weekend. My dad was outside, and he was fixing his car, supposedly, but he was drinking and fixing his car. I don't know what the fuck. But anyways, me and my mom were inside, and my mom said, don't go outside, stay here with me. I think we were watching Telemundo or something. I don't know, we were watching some movie. And um, my mom goes to the bathroom. And I was like, ooh, this is my chance. So I run outside. And I'm jumping and I go outside and I see my dad. And next to him, well, around him, there was a little boy. And he had a pack of gum. And I said, hey, can I get some gum? And the little boy was like, no. And I got a little like, what the fuck? Why didn't give me some gum? So I went and I pulled the gum away from the whole pack and I ran. I ran back home. So a couple minutes later, my dad comes in. And he got so fucking mad. Like, I don't even know why he was so mad. He was so mad over a pack of gum. He, like, blew it the fuck up. So he starts, like, screaming at me. And then he grabs me from my ears. And he starts swinging me. He pulled me. Like, my feet were dangling. And he, he pulled me like this. And then my ears popped. And when my ears popped, I felt blood coming down. And now that I think about it, I was only five years old. I was little, my son's size. I was, I've always been a little bitch. So when he did that, um, we went to sleep. Me and my mom went to sleep hugging and crying like we always did. We would always go to sleep crying. That's why that gets me mad because the little boy, he went to sleep by himself in that drawer crying by himself. No mommy, no papi, nobody by himself. That's why this is so deep. Because a lot of the times you either have your mom, you have your dad, you have somebody. This little boy had nobody. So the next day I go to school. But my mom, when she took me to my babysitter, she told her, este, make sure to put her hair down, you know, so because she has some cuts. Well, my babysitter, she was over it. She knew some shit was going on. I would go, I would go to school sometimes with bruises, you know, or crying, my eyes swollen because I would cry so much. So my babysitter got my hair and she pulled it all the way back up like this. Like really super tight. She even put some bolas on, I think. Like really tight. So, you know, you could see the thing. And that day they were checking for lice. So the teacher saw it, or the nurse saw it, some bitch saw it. And um, they told me what happened. And I said, nothing, nothing happened. I fell off my bike. Because that's what we say, right? So then, um, they they told me that I was gonna talk to the principal. The principal comes, and she's what she said. What happened? Um, you know, we're here for you. You could tell us the truth. If you tell us the truth, nothing's gonna happen to your mommy and your papi. Everything's gonna be okay. So then I said, okay, nothing's gonna happen. I believe them. So then I tell them the truth. My dad pulled my ears. He hits me, like not even twenty minutes later. The cops come, this whole shit comes. They put me in the back of a car and I'm crying. I'm like, where the fuck am I going? They take me to Azusa to foster care. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? So that was back in, 90, I was born in 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. That was back in 91. When things were not, we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have emails. We didn't have no motherfucking, you know. Right now, if you want to send a message, it's super fast. You know what I'm saying? Back then, it was like phone calls. They came super fast, child services, you know, and they took care of me. My mom had to go to court and they told her, either 
if you want your daughter, you can't be with your husband. And my mom, of course, like the real bitch she is, she chose me. She said, I don't need a man. I don't need a man because I am a mother first. And that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Because, yes, I'm, a, I'm Mario's wife. You know, I'm, my, um, I'm a lot of things. But a mother, I am first. And that's how we're supposed to think. Porque our children, they're like... They don't know what the fuck is up. They're defenseless. You know, some of them might be a little bad, like little badass Mario right here. He drives me crazy. But at the end of the day, that's my son. And um, so my mom, my dad, my dad ran away. He ran away to fucking Alaska. Then he ran away to Texas. Then he went to Mexico and all this fuckery. That man is crazy. But my mom always took care of me. And she, she took my side. And we made it. I mean, my mom... She went through some, she's been going through some bullshit, but she, she makes it work. But anyways, if back then in 1991, child services, you know, took care of me, why the fuck did they not take care of este Gabriel Fernandez? I feel like, yes, the child services people did not do it themselves, but why didn't they do more? You know, why didn't they do more to save him if... The, I guess they're saying that the in the documentary, they're saying that the girl, the, the social worker, she was new. She was new. But isn't it when people are new to their job, don't they have like a supervisor? I feel because this is in Palmdale. You know, in Palmdale, um, is it LA County? Antelope Valley. It's Antelope Valley. In Palmdale, a lot of people, a lot of brown people, a lot of black people move over there because the the rent is cheaper. You know, you could buy a, you could buy a big house over there for the same amount of money that you could buy it over. Here. Like it's known over there for the houses that are bigger and they're like 200 225,000 and that in California is good because over here for like a regular little little house is like 300 400,000. So a lot of people they went from LA to Palmdale. To move, you know, and there's a lot of people, and there's a lot of craziness going. But Pondo is crazy, especially in the apartments. But I mean, I've been there, and I'm always like, what is? It's like Street A, Street B, C. I don't know. The streets have letters, and to me, that's funny. But it's like a big desert, and um, we've been there because Mario's tias and tios live there. Or some of them, they live there. So I feel because it was Palmdale, because, you know, there's a lot of low-income people over there in the, in the ghetto. Because there's a ghetto everywhere. But I feel like Palmdale is big, because I feel like it is big. Every time I go over there, it's big. They didn't take it seriously. They were like, oh, it's just another Palmdale kid. It's just another Cholita or whatever. They didn't, they, they didn't, the child services lady, she didn't even try to investigate. She just went by um, Pearl Fernandez's word. Like, Oh, so you're just going to believe whatever the fuck she said? She said, oh, well, he, the bump in his head is because he fell off his bunk bed. The fat lip is because he was wrestling with his brother. The BB gun shots, all oh, because of that. You believe this fucking... If I would have seen that bitch, I would have been like, this bitch is lying. You could tell her stupid ass face. Look at her fucking <laughs> stupid ass face that she has. Like, who would believe a fucking bitch that didn't even graduate the eighth grade? And they didn't even take it seriously. And I do think it's, it was a good idea that they tried to press charges on the child services people. Because like that, they're like, oh shit, we got to take our job seriously. You know what I'm saying? Because they couldn't give a fuck. They just write down, you know how they have those little drawings of the kid's body? The girl just marked one little mark. I think it was in the face or a little mark. That little boy had marks in his neck. Like fat marks like it was the skin was peeling <gasps> off you see his little body it was packed from the bottom to the top from the top to the bottom Woo! they need to do that shit to the mom i bet let's see how it feels bitch let's, let's put you in a little drawer to see how it feels i don't know i feel like they should have given her the death penalty because she was the one that, that started this whole shit she when the baby when little the little boy Gabriel was three days old. She was like, I don't want this boy. You know, she gave him up and it was the the, the uncle and the, his partner. So he was raised, he was being raised by 
a gay couple. But then the grandpa came in and took him because the grandpa was like, oh, a gay couple raising my grandson? También, the homophobia. All this, just let people be people. If people want to play with dicks, even though they have a dick, let them. If it don't, it don't yeah. affect you. Yes, it's your family, but it does not affect you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like, I think Gabriel Fernandez was better off with his uncle, you know, and, um, there was a part in the interview where the uncle's partner, I think he's from Salvador, Guatemala, but he was in another country, and um, he was saying how he much, how he loved him, and I was like, that was pure love. So this little boy got pure love at the beginning of his life, and then his mom, give me my son back. You know why Carol Fernandez wanted her son back? For a hundred bucks a month. She got a welfare check. I think it was 600 and something, 637 or something, I don't know. But then when she had Gabriel in her custody, then it went up to 700. This bitch got money, right? She got money, help, the government help, but she couldn't even take care of her son. This bitch deserves to fucking die. I don't give a fuck. She deserves to fucking die. I hope they fucking jump her in jail. I hope they stick a broken broom up her ass. A ver como se siente pendeja. Porque I know it's like, oh, you know, my mom would disagree with me because my mom always tells me you have to leave everything to the Lord. And I do leave a lot of things to the Lord. I do leave a lot of shit. I try to forgive people. I really do. I know that some people that try to fuck with me. They're doing it because they hurt themselves. I know there's mental issues. I know there's diseases. I know some people are going through bipolarism. But, okay, if you feel that crazy, if she felt that crazy, if she just was so angry, then why didn't she go out down the street and got down with some bitch? Why didn't she get down with her boy or with her uh, the, her boyfriend? Why did she have to fuck with the little boy? That's my only thing. Like, si te crees muy pinche perra, you know, if you're that bitch, if you want to fight, just fight with some other hoe. You know, get crazy on these bitches. Why are you getting crazy on the little boy that can't even do nothing? He's He had cat litter. Cat litter in his stomach. No food. No food. Cat litter. Do you know how fucking nasty cat shit, cat piss smells? Do you guys know how gross that is? Every time, you know, you guys know, I have some alley cats, right, that we feed. Them alley cats, we, they would always have, um, they would always leave their shit in the plants in the corners. So now we have cement in the back because they would stink so bad. And then the, the cat shit was like over there in the corners. They tried to hide it with some dirt. And then the moscas, the flies would come and it was a whole mess. That little boy, the little sister said that the mom would say, clean up the, the cat litter. Clean up the cat litter. And the, the little boy, Gabriel, would clean it up. But I guess if it wasn't perfect, like how she wanted it, she would be like, eat it, eat it. So he ate it. And that's what they found in his stomach. Like, you know how bad I wanted to, like, make him his favorite food? Because how I always say, my kids always say, what are you going to eat today? When I'm feeling like, you know, like I have a bunch of energy. Sometimes I be making a, like este, hamburgers for Sofia and for Mandy, like some carne, carne asada. And I do a lot. And sometimes we don't got, you know, we don't got the funds to do it. So I be making hot dogs for everybody. You know how, how good it feels to see your kid take a bite off that food and look at you like, thank you, mommy. The, wow. Didn't this bitch ever want to feel like that? Like, what was her anger? What was her anger against this innocent child? Suka, so I don't even like, want to see her face. Him, he's a little bitch too. The stepdad, because he could have been, he's so tall and she's so short. She controls his dumb ass. I know they say that he used to be a good guy and that he worked and whoop de whoop whoop. But... When you let people control you like that, that's your choice. Because you have the choice to speak the fuck up and say, you know what, bitch, fuck you. We're not hurting this little boy. 
And I'm call and I'm gonna tell on your ass because you're not, you're a fucking crazy bitch. So they would beat his ass and then they would go fuck or what the fuck was up? Porque she was doing something. She was giving him something that would it was it was making him crazy enough to fucking maybe she had a devil pussy. That's what it was. That was making him crazy enough to hit this little boy. Gabriel Fernandez died thinking nobody loved him, and that's what hurts me the most. I know. It's a documentary and you're like, um, you don't know him. But it really hurts me because se murió a little innocent boy that never grew up to, you know, graduate, grew up to play sports, grew up, you know what the little kids do to have his little first kiss. The happy things in life because of this evil bitch and evil motherfucker, Isaurio. Is that his name? Misaurio. And um, Pro, Fernand Pro Fernandez. And then the, the, the real dad, he feels guilty también because he was in jail when all this was happening and he couldn't protect her son, his son. And I feel if he was there, the stepdad wouldn't have been all toughity, tough, tough, tough. Porque también el, el, the real dad, Gabriel Fernandez, real dad, he looks like a, he's like cholo. He's like, fuck us. You know, I just, I don't know. I hope this story helps people when you're thinking about beating your kid's ass. Stop yourself and say, am I really that, that evil like this bitch and this motherfucker? Am I really like that? Just just imagine that little face. Imagine that little face and don't hate your children. Yes, they're bad. Trust me, I know. I know. Give them time out. Make them face the wall. Baby Mario gets five minutes. Sofia gets eight minutes. Mandy, she's good. She she doesn't do bad stuff. Well, she does. She rolls her eyes. She's really rolling her eyes on me. But I try to be a good mom every day. I think we all try to be better people every day. If you don't try to try to, try to be better every day, you're doing something wrong. Because we only got this one motherfucking ass life. But anyways, motherfucker, this is my little two cents on the story of Gabriel Fernandez. Rest in peace, little angel. Este, one day, if I go to heaven, because I don't know, I might go to hell. But if I go to heaven, I'll make your favorite food up there. Woo! But anyways, to all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers. Peace and motherfucking love.